In a small town in America live a beautiful dark-skinned little girl named Shanice LaVita. Shanice grew up in a bad part of America where crime happens every day. Even though her family was poor, Shanice's mother always has food on the table for the whole family of three. In the year of 2001, when Shanice was walking home from school, minding her own business, she heard a gunshot. That will traumatize her little heart forever. As a little girl, Shanice was afraid and scared at the same time. So instead of running home, Shanice went and hid in a nearby bush that looked safe to her. After five minutes, Shanice ran home. When Shanice was almost near her house, she saw her whole house was surrounded by ambulances, polices, and investigators. Shanice's mind went into a dark place she would never wanted to imagine. Shanice started running to check out what was going on. Shanice started asking while panicking. What happened? Is everybody okay? Did something happen? When she reached the pouch of her house, she saw her father on the floor in a pool of his own blood. No, 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 father, please get up. Please, father, don't leave me alone. The father started coughing blood out. My little girl, please take care of yourself. I don't know what will happen next. Just know that daddy will always be there for you. Please take care of your mother and yourself. I will always love you. As the father closes his eyes, Shanice was crying her heart out. All she could think about was if her father was really going to die and leave her and her mother behind. What will happen if that really happened? The ambulance took her father away while Shanice's hands were full with her own father's blood. Shanice's hands was shaking in fear of losing her beloved father. Shanice and her mother got into the ambulance. While sitting across from the father's stretcher, Shanice said, Mother, please tell me father's going to be all right. The mother was crying so hard that she almost had a heart attack. Someone started shooting while I was inside making dinner. When I looked outside the window, your father was on the floor. I'm so sorry, sweetie. As Shanice started crying so hard, she started yelling, It's all my fault. I should have rushed home immediately. Why, God, why? The mother held Shanice's hands. It's okay, baby. Everything is going to be okay. Shanice looked at her mother while both of their tears started falling down from their eyes to their cheeks rapidly. No, mom, everything is not all right. I can't lose my dad. The mother felt the pain from her heart seeing her beautiful daughter's tears. Thank God nothing happened to you, sweetie. But your dad is going to be all right. As the mother whispered under her breath, the Lord is with him. After rushing to the hospital, Shanice and her mother reached the emergency room, where Shanice's dad was hooked up to machines with a lot of surgeons trying to save her dad's life. Shanice paced back and forth waiting for the news to come. The only thing she ever cherished in life was her parents. Losing one of her family member now will break her and her childhood for life. While Shanice's mother was praying that God can save her husband, Shanice asked her mother, Mom, what are we going to do? We can't lose daddy, the mother replies. We won't. Shanice's mother take a deep breath and said, He won't leave us this early. Your father is a strong black man. He loves us the most in this world to leave us. While Shanice was sweating and crying at the same time, she hugged her mother so tight and at the same time she said, I love you, mother. I will never let anything bad happen to you, with watering eyes. Then the emergency door opened.